would you have come as if you did dress up? I would have come, uh, it's quite boring, but I would have come as a fireman, I think. Because I was quite obsessed with being a fireman. In fact, I used to start fires just to put them out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no good. Um, mine's not as interesting. Well, actually, there'd be two. It either would have been a fun one, like a superhero, because I always wanted to be, I wanted to fly when I was a kid, and I got really upset when I realised I couldn't actually fly. Or oh, a bus driver. I was, that was a good in my career choice, bus driver. Specifically, the 504 route around our Swift. I love that route. That's, That's a good route. I had that plan, but I didn't make it as a, in radio as going to be a bus driver. That's a good route. So what do you know, what do you know about your farmers? Well, I... How did this gig come about? Well, we were asked to do this and we said yes, please. Um, <laughs> but what we didn't realise is that it's fancy dress tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, we would have loved to, to do that, to upset. dress up as a bus, a bus driver and a fireman. That would have been nice, but... On a Saturday night. On a Saturday night. There are lots of nuns and there are lots of smurfs and... Um, queens. And queens as well. And fairies and uh, nurses. And Twister. And Twister. Oh, good one. Yeah. So, how, so they, how did they come about? Because you... Um, Jay was here last night. Yeah. So how did they tackle Radio 1 on that? Or how did it happen? I, I, it pretty much wasn't they said they were going to find out where yeah. the best DJs are kept. And unfortunately they yeah. couldn't get them at Radio 1. So, so, they so went we're here. Me, Dave and Don. Yeah. Zane Lowe couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. true. Too much excitement to put everyone on the same night. Yes. So they split it up. Yeah. Because Greg James has been a bit of an advocate for young farmers because he did a cancer show in Montgomery, I think, yeah, not very long ago. Um, yeah. I did a show uh, with Young Farmers two weeks ago. So this is my oh, second wow. two weeks in Shrewsbury. How was that? It was great, actually. What was it for? I think it was just... It was like... They called it like an Easter party. And I think that's the first Easter party I've been to. And now it looks like <laughs> kind of drinking. Nice. But you have to fit in with farmers. Because a lot of the time they're drunk, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Just for the sake of the camera, do you just want to say cheers to young farmers? Cheers to all the young farmers. I hope you have a lovely evening. We will. Thank you. Cheers. So, what, what do you do tonight? Just go on and... We do a dance routine, um, uh, moonwalk and uh, break dancing. <laughs> no, we don't. Do you know what we should do? That? We should uh, no, do. I, I really thought we were going to that. <laughs> I am ready for How it. How does the moonwalk? Like brilliant. Moonwalk. Seriously brilliant. Go on, and we'd love go on. half the opportunity. But the problem is, and I always do this, you need to have hard surface and slippery shoes. Because yeah. if you don't, then everyone goes, oh, don't worry about it, go, go, go. And you, then you go for it and you're really and naff. Like and everyone kind of goes, that's very good as it. <laughs> so, but I might do. I might take my shoes off later too. I think you should definitely take your shoes off. Yeah. Apart from that, play some songs. Yeah. From Radio 1, like you'd expect. And then hopefully get 5,000 young farmers very excited. Yes. Excited in what way? Well, more uh, than what a leading uh, question. Alcohol alone will, will, yeah. will deliver. They're going to get high on our music. Yes. And. Uh, good humour. Yes, and good humour. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it'd be good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're good. So what um, what thing about either of you might shock young farmers that they might not know about you? Because everyone knows you from Radio One. It's difficult so. when you work on a show like the Chris Ball Show. Pretty much everything about you is out there. You don't actually have much to your personality that you really doesn't get expressed really. No, um, I'm not really bald in real life. That's what I would say. Uh, <laughs> that's done for showbiz. Yeah. 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 Um, you're not gay or Welsh. Okay. I am well, well, you're, you're half, Welsh, half Welsh, but I'm not gay at all. So tonight, you know, I, when the cameras are off and people aren't looking, I might pull a girl. Really? Yeah, if you could just that. alert us to that, right. Do you want me to let you know? We have alarm, we play on stage. Everyone will know if that happens tonight. Yeah. <laughs>